Lesson 1. Why to buy a pass? 1. You get your bus pass? I'm not going to buy one. You're not? I think it's a waste of money. It actually costs less if you have a bus pass. How is that? You can use it however many times you need to. Is that right? Yep, and you can keep the money in your pocket. That sounds nice. You should go get yours. Yeah, I think I will. Lesson 2. Why to buy a pass. 2. Have you bought a bus pass yet? I'm not getting one. Why is that? It's cheaper if I don't buy one. Buying a bus pass will save you money. How do you figure that? There's no limit to how often you can use bus pass. Really? Yeah, plus you don't have to use change for the bus anymore. I like that. You want to buy one now? I'm going to. Lesson 3. Why to buy a pass? 3. Did you get your bus pass? I don't think I'm going to get one. Why not? It's just a waste of cash, man. Actually, it'll save you money. Oh, really? Yeah, because you can use your bus pass as many times as you want. Really? Yeah, and you never have to worry about scraping for change. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, so are you going to buy one? I will. Lesson 4. Student Discount 1. How much does it cost for a bus pass? It'll be $65 for a monthly pass. Is there anything cheaper than that? If you're in school, you can get a student pass. Well, I am. How much will that cost? The pass is free. I don't have to pay for anything? You'll only have to pay for the monthly sticker. How much is the monthly sticker? It's $24 for each month. I'll take the student bus pass. Okay, I will get you one. Lesson 5, Student Discount 2. Can you tell me the price for a bus pass? It costs $65 to buy a monthly bus pass. Is there a cheaper bus pass? There are student passes. For how much? It doesn't cost anything for the pass. It's absolutely free? The monthly sticker costs you. How much is that? Each month, it'll cost $24 for a new sticker. Let me get the student bus pass. Let me go get it for you. Lesson 6. Student Discount 3 How much for a bus pass? Well, for a monthly pass, it'll cost you $65. Is there anything else that doesn't cost as much? If you're a student, you can get a student bus pass. How much does a student pass cost? That actual bus pass is free. It doesn't cost anything? Uh, the only thing you'll have to pay for is the monthly sticker. Can you tell me how much that'll cost? It's only $24 a month. Sounds good. Let me get that. I'll get it for you right now. Lesson 7. Asking for a transfer. 1. I don't have any more cash and I have to get on another bus to get home. Why don't you have any more money? I wanted some chips at lunch today, so I spent it. That was a bright idea. I know. Do you have some change I can borrow? You know what? I don't have any change for you. I need to get home. Why don't you just ask the bus driver for a transfer? I don't have any money for a transfer. You know, go ask for a transfer. They're free. Really? Oh, I'm glad you let me know. You're welcome. Lesson 8. Asking for a transfer. 2. I'm broke and I have to catch another bus. Why don't you have any money for another bus? 
I got hungry and I bought some chips. That was smart. Anyways, do you have any change I can use for the bus? I don't have any. I don't know how I'm going to get home. You know, get a transfer from the bus driver. How much is a transfer? It doesn't cost anything. That's great. Thanks for your help. You know what? Don't mention it. Lesson 9. Asking for a transfer. 3. I need to get on another bus, but I have no more money. Where'd the rest of your money for the bus go? I spent it on a bag of chips. Well, that was an intelligent thing to do. You don't have any spare change? No, I don't. How am I going to get home? You should just ask the bus driver for a transfer. How much does that cost? It's free. Just go ask for one. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Just go ask. Lesson 10. How to buy a pass. 1. I need to buy a bus pass. What kind of bus pass would you like to buy? What are the different kinds? You can get a day, a weekly, a monthly, or a student pass. Could I get a student pass, please? Sure. Can I see your student ID? Sure. Here it is. Very good. How much for the pass? It's free. For the monthly sticker, it's $24. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you for your purchase. Lesson 11. How to buy a pass. 2. I would like to get a bus pass. Do you know what kind of pass you want? Can you tell me my options? There are passes for a day, month, and week, and there are student passes. I'd like to get the student pass. Let me see your student ID. Here you go. Thank you very much. How much will it be for the pass? The monthly sticker is $24, but the actual pass is free. That'll be fine. We appreciate your business. Lesson 12, how to buy a pass, 3. Could I buy a bus pass today? Which bus pass would you like to purchase? What kind of passes are there? There are day passes, weekly passes, monthly passes, and student passes. Let me get a student pass. Could I see your student ID, please? No problem. Here you go. Thanks. How much does this pass cost? The pass is free. The monthly sticker costs $24. That's fine, then. I hope you enjoy your pass. Lesson 13. Where to buy a pass. 1. Did you go and buy your bus pass? No, I didn't. When are you going to go get it? I'm not sure where they sell bus passes at. Why didn't you just ask me? Where should I go? You can get one from Student Services. I had no clue that I could get it there. I already knew that. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. I'm going to go and get it right now. Lesson 14. Where to buy a pass. 2. Did you get your bus pass? I haven't gone to get it yet. Why haven't you got it? I don't know where to go to get one. I know where to go get them from. Where do I get it? They sell them at the business office on campus. I had no idea. I'm sure you did it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll buy it later on today. Lesson 15. Where to buy a pass. 3. Have you bought your bus pass yet? I didn't get it yet. Well, why not? I have no idea where to get it from. You should have just asked me. Well then, where do I get it? You can get it from the student business office. I didn't know that. I know you didn't. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I'll make sure to get it tomorrow. Lesson 16. 
were to change the bus. One. Do you know which bus will take me from PHS to Vons? Which Vons do you want to go to? It's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You actually need to catch two buses. Okay, which one do I need to take? The first bus you need to get on is the 268. What do I do next? Once you get to Fair Oaks and Washington, get off. Then what should I do? You need to get on the 261. It goes all the way to Vaughn. Is that it? That's it. Lesson 17. Where to change the bus to? Which bus should I take for PHS to Vaughn's? Can you tell me which Vaughn's you want to go to? I believe that it's on、uh, Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You'll have to catch two different buses to get there. Do you know which buses I need to take? The 268 is the first bus you need to catch. <laughs> What do I do after I get it on the 268? Get off when you get to Fair Oaks and Washington. Did what? Catch the 261 and get off at Vaughn. That's all? That's all you have to do. Lesson 18 Where to change the bus? Three. Is there a bus that'll go all the way to Vaughn's from PHS? Where is this Vaughn's located? The Vaughn's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You're gonna need to take two buses to get to that Vaughn's. Which buses will I have to take? First, you need to get on the 268 going west. Then what do I do? You need to get off on Fair Oaks and Washington. What's next? Get on the 261 and it'll take you the rest of the way to Vaughn's. There's nothing else? That's all there is to it. Lesson 19 Getting off too early. One. Are we supposed to get off right here? I think so. Hurry up and get off. Where are we? I don't know. You said this was the right stop. I think I was wrong. Did we get off the bus too early? I don't know. It kind of looks like we did. Why did you tell me to get off? I'm sorry. I thought this was our stop. I really don't feel like walking. We could always wait for the next bus to come. Lesson 20. Getting off too early, too. I'm not sure. Is this our stop? Yeah, get off the bus. Do you have any idea where we are? I'm really not sure. This can't be the right stop. I don't think this is right. We got off too early, didn't we? Yeah, we did get off too early. I should have just stayed on the bus. I messed up. Great, we have to walk now. You want to wait for the next bus? Lesson 21 Getting off too early. Three. Is this our bus stop? I think this is it. Get off. Dude, where are we at? I have no idea. I thought this was the right stop. It doesn't look right to me. Did you make us get off early? I think we did. I should not have listened to you. I really thought this was our stop. Now we have to walk. Maybe we should just wait for the next bus. Lesson 22 Talking to someone on a bus. One. What's up? How are you? I'm splendid. How about yourself? Could be better. So, have you been on the bus very long? I got on about 15 minutes ago. How often do you ride the bus? I usually drive. You have your own vehicle? Yes, I have my own car. So, then why don't you drive it? I'm waiting for our president to lower the gas prices. Smart. Lesson 23 Talking to someone on a bus, too. Hey, how's it going? 
Good. How about you? Not bad. Thanks for asking. Have you been on the bus for a while? Only about 15 minutes. Do you ride this bus often? Not really. I usually drive. You have a car? Yes, I do. So why aren't you driving it? Once our president lowers gas prices, I'll be driving again. Vroom, vroom. That's smart thinking. Lesson 24, talking to someone on a bus, 3. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, you. I'm awesome. How long have you been on the bus? I've been on here for like 15 minutes. Do you catch this bus a lot? Not much. I have a car. So you have your own car? I sure do. Then why are you on the bus with me? I'm waiting till our president gets out of office and the gas prices go down. That's good thinking. Lesson 25. Asking about where to get off. 1. Are you sure that this bus will take us to the Santa Anita Mall? Yes, it will. You know that for a fact? Yeah, I take this bus all the time. Is it a very long bus ride? It's about 30 minutes long. Do you know where we get off at? There's a bus stop right behind Macy's. Really? There's a bus stop right by the mall? There's a bus stop in the mall parking lot. That's convenient. Absolutely. Lesson 26. Asking about where to get off. 2. Does this bus really go to the mall? It goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. I catch this bus a lot. How long does it take for the bus to get there? The bus ride is only 30 minutes or so. Where do we get off the bus? Right behind Macy's is a bus stop. The stop is really at the mall? It's in the middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I know it is. Lesson 27, asking about where to get off. 3. This bus goes all the way to the Santa Anita Mall, right? Yeah, it'll take us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? Hmm, it, it only takes about a half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall? Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yeah, I know. Lesson 28, on a wrong bus, 1. So, where is this bus supposed to take us? It should take us back up to Altadena. Well, don't you know for sure? I'm not really sure if it does or not. Are you sure we got on the right bus? I've never taken this bus, but I think it's the right one. This place doesn't look like Altadena. That's true, and we have been on this bus for a while. Read one of those street signs or something. Yikes! Temple City? That's the last time I'm trusting you with the transportation. My bad, but at least we know the right bus to take us back. Lesson 29, on a wrong bus, too. Do you even know where this bus is supposed to go? It should take us all the way up to Altadena. Don't you know? I'm not positive if it does or not. Is this the right bus or not? I have never been on this bus, but I'm sure it's the right one. Where are we? This is not Altadena. I know, and we've been on the bus forever. Tell me what the street sign says. Oh my gosh, that one says Temple City. Next time, I'll look for the bus myself. Well, now I know the bus that'll take us back. Lesson 30, on a wrong bus, 3.
Are you sure you know where this bus goes? It should go to Altadena. What do you mean it should? I'm not completely sure if it really does. Dude, are we on the right bus? I'm almost positive that this is the right one. It doesn't look like we're on our way to Altadena. We have been riding this bus for a long time. What does that sign say? I think it says Temple City. Yeah, I'm never trusting you with the bus schedules again. I'm sorry, but at least we know which bus to catch to get back where we started. Lesson 31, the bus system in L.A., 1. Is there a bus in Altadena that'll take me to downtown L.A.? The 486. The 486 really goes downtown? Yes, it does. How long is the bus ride? It's about 45 minutes to an hour. Is that right? Yeah, it's not that long of a trip. Is that a crowded bus? It starts getting more crowded the closer you get to L.A. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Lesson 32, the bus system in L.A., 2. Do you know a bus I can take from Altadena to downtown L.A.? I believe you can take the 486. Will that bus really take me to L.A.? It sure will. Is it a very long ride? It's a 45 minute to an hour ride. Really? It doesn't take long at all. Do a lot of people ride that bus? More people start getting on around L.A. Wow, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Lesson 33, the bus system in L.A. 3. Can you tell me what bus to catch from Altadena to downtown L.A.? You can catch the 486. That bus goes all the way to L.A.? I believe so. Is the bus ride long? It only takes 45 minutes to an hour. That's all? It's a pretty short trip. Now, is there always a lot of people on that bus? It only gets crowded once it gets to L.A. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Lesson 34. Which bus to take? 1. I really need to find a bus that goes by PCC. Where do you need to catch this bus at? All the way up on Las Flores Drive and Fair Oaks. I can tell you what bus to catch, but you have to walk a little bit. Walking isn't a problem for me. The 267 stops at Altadena Drive and Fair Oaks. Which direction do I want? Get on the bus heading west. Do you know where I get off at? Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for letting me know, homegirl. No problem. Lesson 35. Which bus to take, too? Do you know which bus I can take to PCC? Tell me where you need to get on at. I live on Las Flores and Fair Oaks. If you don't mind walking, I know a bus you can take. I'm okay with walking. Walk all the way down Fair Oaks and catch the 267 on Altadena Drive. Do you know which direction it should be heading? You have to catch it going west. Which stop do I get off on? You need to get off on the corner of Del Mar and Hill. Thank you for telling me. It was my pleasure. Lesson 36. Which bus to take? 3. I need to get to PCC, but I don't know which bus to catch. Where exactly are you coming from? I'm coming from Fair Oaks and Las Flores Drive in Altadena. Do you have a problem walking a little bit? I don't mind walking. If you walk down Fair Oaks to Altadena Drive, you can catch the 267. Tell me which direction it should be going. Make sure to catch it going west. Where do I get off? You get off on Del Mar and Hill. 
Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Lesson 37, complaining about a late bus. One. I want to get on the bus already. I, it just isn't on time today. It was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. I think it'll be here pretty soon. I need to get to work, so it better. I really do hate public transportation. I agree. It's just never on time. That's right. I also hate having to stand at a bus stop in all kinds of weather. Oh, that's the worst. We need to get a car. I completely agree with that. Lesson 38. Complaining about a late bus. 2. When is the bus going to get here? It's obviously late. It was scheduled to be here about 30 minutes ago. I'm sure it'll be here in a little bit. I hope so, because I'm running really late for work. You know, I hate having to take the bus every day. So do I. You can never count on public transportation. Exactly. I really can't stand being at the bus stop in the heat and rain. I know what you mean. We're going to have to get a car of our own. I couldn't agree with you more. Lesson 39. Complaining about a late bus. 3. Where is the bus? I think it's running late. It should have been here 30 minutes ago. It should be coming soon. It better, because I'm already late for work. I can't stand riding the bus. Me too. It's so unreliable. That is true. It's also horrible having to be at a bus stop in any kind of weather. Exactly. That's the worst part. I think it's time we started driving. Yes, I agree. Lesson 40. Where to take the bus. 1. What bus can I catch to get to the gold line? Tell me where you live. I live in Altadena. You can catch the 264. It goes to the gold line? Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch an Altadena drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Lesson 41. Where to take the bus to. Do you know a bus that goes to the Gold Line station? Do you live in Pasadena? My house is up in Altadena. You could always take the 264. It'll really take me to the station? It goes all the way there. Do you know what street it goes on? Catch it on Altadena Drive. I would have never known. Now you know. I appreciate you telling me. No nope. problem. Lesson 42. Where to take the bus. 3. I need to find a bus that'll take me to the gold line. Where do you live? I live up in Altadena. The 264 will take you there. It goes all the way there? I know for a fact that it goes all the way to the station. What street would I catch it on? If you go to Altadena Drive, you can catch it there. I didn't know that bus went to the Gold Line station. Yep, it does. Well, thanks for letting me know. It was my pleasure.